Updated February 27, 2019 20 hours 49 minutes and 40 seconds Patient care at Tasmania's only mental health facility for elderly people has been severely compromised due to ongoing staffing issues, according to a leaked staff email. Key Points Staff at the Roy Fagan Center are under immense pressure and bed closures were necessary to ensure patient safety, a union says an email to staff at the center, leaked to the ABC, says a number of serious incidences have occurred recently, including two deaths. The staff crisis is symptomatic of a wider problem, in part due to a public sector wage cap, the union says the email, written by a Tasmanian health service clinician, said under staffing at the Roy Fagan Center, RFC, in Lena Valley was so bad nursing management has closed beds. RFC has about 30 beds and is the state's only mental health facility exclusively for older people with psychiatric illness or cognitive impairment. Email to staff on Wednesday morning stated there had been a number of serious incidences at the facility over the past several days, including two deaths, one of which was described as unexpected. The ABC understands a patient at the facility died after a fall, raising concerns about staffing levels. Do you know more about this story? Contact us in depth at abc.net.au. Unfortunately, our ability to care for our patients is currently severely compromised due to ongoing critically short staffing levels. The email reads, with this in mind, the decision has been made by the RFC nursing management team to close our beds which are currently empty. This means we will not be accepting any further admissions until further notice, it reads. Sources have said two beds at RFC have been closed as a result of staffing concerns and the deaths will be investigated by the coroner. Health of patients, staff in jeopardy, union claims the email describes a situation where high levels of workers' compensation, sick leave and staff fatigue at RFC had resulted in a seriously depleted casual pool, a spokesman from the Tasmanian Health Service said there were no bed closures at RFC and the email had been sent to staff on a misunderstanding but was subsequently corrected. The spokesman did not respond to follow-up questions, nor to detailed questions about the leaked email. Robbie Moore, from the Health and Community Services Union, said if the beds were reopened, its members would take industrial action. Members at Roy Fagan say their health and safety, along with patients, is being jeopardized because of the lack of staffing, he said. Australian Nursing and Midwifery Federation Acting Executive Director Andrew Brakey said staff at RFC were under immense pressure and bed closures were necessary to ensure patient safety, they are worried the worst is going to happen, Mr Moore said the shortage of nurses at RFC were part of a wider problem and called on the state government to raise the 2% public sector wage cap, right across mental health we are unable to recruit people, from the 1st of April nurses in Tasmania will be the lowest paid in the country, he said. It remains unclear if a recent taxpayer-funded trip to the UK to recruit psychiatric nurses has resulted in any new staff. Money welcome, but more needed, Dr. Say's medical professionals have confirmed the Royal Hobart Hospital has been operating under its highest escalation level since Monday, partly because of overcrowding in the psychiatric ward. Opposition health spokeswoman Sarah Lovell said bed closures at Roy Fagan will have a knock-on effect, that obviously has an impact then on the Royal Hobart Hospital, on the Department of Psychiatry who are not able to discharge people to the Roy Fagan Center, that then, in turn has an impact on people presenting to the emergency department, Royal Hobart Hospital Staff Association spokesman Frank Nicholson said despite recent top-up funding for the Royal, wards were full and people continued to be occasionally waiting in the emergency department for days. Dr. Nicholson said the extra money has seen necessary changes made, but were not sufficient to deal with demand. We are getting really large numbers of people requiring treatment, and we don't have the capacity to admit to a timely fashion to the wards, he said. Topics, mental health, aged care, health, healthcare facilities, health administration, government and politics, Lena Valley 7008, Hobart 7000 first posted February 27, 2019, 19 hours 3 minutes and 32 seconds.